trolls with fake account post anti-Leah Thomas tweet with over 100,000 likes. This weekend, Leah Thomas became the first transgender athlete to win an NCAA Division I championship. Former Rio Olympic swimmer and Virginia Tech competitor Rekha Gyorgi wrote an open letter saying, quote, I'd like to point out that I respect and fully stand with Leah Thomas. I'm convinced that she is no different than me or any other Division I swimmer who has woken up at 5 a.m. her entire life for morning practice. On the other hand, I would like to critique the NCAA rules that allow her to compete against us who are biologically women, end quote. Her letter also points out that she placed 17th, so she would not have made the finals even without Thomas competing. Shortly after, a Twitter account claiming to be Georgi that had over 17,000 followers tweeted about it, saying, quote, my final spot was stolen by Leah Thomas, who is a biological male. Until we all refuse to compete, nothing will change. Thanks for all the support, retweets, and follows. I won't stop fighting, end quote. The account, which only had one original tweet and half a dozen retweets before it was suspended, did not appear to be actually linked to Georgi. Conservatives claim the account was suspended as Twitter was censoring it, but it's far more likely that it was suspended for impersonation. Well, mm -hmm. again, <laughs> you know, free speech is, uh, it, it goes both ways, yeah. but here we're, we're talking about this issue of competing in this, this competitor in, in a sport where, you know, we keep going back and forth on the, on the rules, and the rules clearly state that she is within her guideline to be competing, and I do agree. If the rules are going to be changed, then, they, then so be it, but at, as of right now, we need to stop this debate back and forth. It's and just a dividing. to the statement you just made, the NCAA, who regulates the sport, agrees with you. Mm -hmm. If she went on uh, to an international meet or the Olympics, the IOC agrees with what mm -hmm. you just said. And most importantly of all, the American Medical Association mm -hmm. agrees with you. The science is the science. Exactly. This is a rejection of science. Well, and it's the fact is, too, that it's not necessarily, it's likely not a real tweet, right? This is how Donald Trump got elected president. All the fake information that was being, you know, promoted through yeah. uh, uh, social media is part of what's happening here as well. Yeah. Exactly. Repeated enough, they believe it. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and in my opinion, that's the real tragedy of this story. I, I think this story is, is very um, illuminating because uh, trolls and what is happening in social media is dangerous for all of us. Because in this instance, uh, Gorky specifically completely contradicts the point of, uh, of the troll that steals the voice mm -hmm. of Gorky. Gorky completely felt the opposite of what was being uh, uh, right. what was being sold. That is dangerous for all of us. That is dangerous for democracy. That is dangerous for LGBT. That is dangerous for Suborni, to her point. That is dangerous for America. The other thing that I think is very sad and very important in this story is as quickly as that, 100,000 people like the statement. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there are all of these people in these dark shadows in social media that really feel very threatening kinds of ways, mm -hmm. and they they don't feel the confidence to come out and attack the Capitol on January 6th, mm -hmm. but they're right there with them. Yes. And we have to constantly remember, those are the kind of enemies that we are facing in the LGBTQ community. And that's why I'm not on LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBT.